This week, we're going to take a look at the 2022-2023 balance sheet that the USDA released last week at its Agriculture Outlook Forum. We're also going to focus on the highest price ever for November soybeans here in early March. And we're going to take a look at the latest weather trends in Argentina. Hi, this is Brian Bastien with Advanced Trading. Let's talk about the soybean market. We moved into the month of March here, and this market remains historically volatile. For a moment, though, we're going to step back and take a look at last week's USDA Agriculture Outlook Forum when they released a balance sheet for soybeans for 2022-2023. Again, this was held on February 24th through the 25th. It was a virtual event last week. Now, we take a look at a balance sheet for beans here. This highlights the last four crop years. I've highlighted in red here the supply side of that balance sheet. USDA is forecasting acreage for 2022 here to be up a little under 1% across the U.S. Yield is forecast to be up a tenth of a bushel, 51.5, just shy of a record there. But when you add in the acreage and the yield, that would be a record crop just shy of 4.5 billion bushel. Notice the total supply there would be up 123 million bushels from last year at 4.8 billion bushel. Let's now move on and look at the usage side. And this is some um, surprising news a bit from the USDA from the standpoint of they were very aggressive with increasing crush by 35 million, exports by 100, and total use by 143. I say surprise because the USDA is, is usually more conservative, but they are acknowledging that there are issues in South America, specifically the drought, that are encouraging U.S. demand. Let's now look at ending stocks. Ending stocks, we add those uh, supply and demand factors together, are down 20 million bushel at 305 million bushel. Now here's the key message. That's just a mark on the wall. And remember, change happens and can be very fast in these markets. We're already seeing that now with the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine. As you'll see in a moment, this is having a bullish effect on the markets. But again, change happens and can be very fast. As far as the markets, we're looking at November soybean futures now trading near 1475 as we tape on Tuesday afternoon. That would be the highest price ever for November soybean futures for early March. So in this environment, we strongly encourage you to work closely with your trusted risk management advisor to manage price movement. Let's move on and wrap up this week talking about trends in Argentina soybean production. We're going to skip over Brazil because that harvest is already at 50% and um, uh, Argentina has harvested very few, if any, beans, so that crop is still being determined. Let's look at where those soybeans are grown in Argentina. Now we're looking here at three key provinces, Buenos Aires, Cordoba, and Santa Fe, uh, accounting for roughly uh, nearly 80% of those beans in Argentina. Let's take a look at the short-term weather trends. Our slides this week, as usual, are courtesy of T-storm weather. We're starting out here looking at the last 14 days, a proxy for topsoil moisture, if you will. There has been improvement across those key growing areas of Argentina. Now, it's not a, it's not a, a total improvement. Uh, they're not excessive moisture, but there has been improvement. Let's look now at, uh, we're la wrapping into this weekend, uh, good heavy thunderstorms are forecast for those soybeans anywhere from one and a half to three inches across nearly that entire growing area. That's excellent, of course, as you know, this time of year for pod set and pod fill. Roughly, this would be the time period somewhere around early to mid-August here in the U.S. So let's uh, basically get our arms around how much rainfall they're looking at. Our final slide here, good totals, near average, maybe slightly above average across those key areas of Argentina the next two weeks. Now, if you'd like more information, please feel free to contact us, 800 664-2321. We'll put you in contact with our risk management consultants who'll be happy to visit with you at your convenience. And remember, we upload every Wednesday. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and never miss an upload. Thanks a lot. Have a good week.